Hi everyone and welcome to NeuroPsyQ. Today I'll be giving a Mendeley tutorial for beginners and I'll be covering Mendeley Desktop, the Mendeley Web Importer, and also the Microsoft Word plugin. On Mendeley Desktop, we'll go through how to navigate the desktop interface, including organizing documents, annotating documents, and syncing data. I will also go through several ways to populate your library, including dragging and dropping, using Mendeley's Web Importer, and manually creating an entry. In Microsoft Word, we'll go through how to navigate the Microsoft Word plugin, including inserting citations, changing the citation style, merging citations, and also creating a bibliography. Okay, so first I'll just give you a general overview of the desktop interface. In the center of the screen, you can see all of my documents. On the left side, you can see my folders. I can create folders to organize my documents by clicking Create Folder. I can also use the search tool on the upper right side to find a specific document I'm looking for. I can also read, highlight, and annotate the documents in my library using several different tools. I can use the pan tool to navigate around the document. I can use the highlight tool um, to highlight text, and I can also change it to highlighting rectangular and I can also change the color of the highlighter. I can create notes within the document, and I can also zoom in or out. You can click on this icon to sync your data. When you click sync, your Mendeley data will be stored on Mendeley servers, and you'll be able to access it on any machine wherever you are. Okay, so next I'm gonna go through a few different ways to populate your Mendeley library. An easy way to add documents is to drag and drop your files or folders straight into Mendeley Desktop. When you do this, Mendeley will automatically take the details from the document and create a library entry in your Mendeley Desktop. The only downside of this method is that it only works really well for journal articles. Another way of populating your library is to add a specific file or folder from your computer. To do this, use the File menu to add files or add folder and find the document from a location on your computer instead of dragging and dropping. If you want to cite a web page, Mendeley's Web Importer is very useful. The Web Importer is an extension for web browsers and it helps you add references to your library with full text PDFs. So you do have to install the Web Importer, but once you have, to add references to your library, you must first click on the Mendeley icon in your browser toolbar. This will launch the Mendeley Web Importer window. Then, the Mendeley Web Importer will show you references that it can import from the web page you are viewing. You just have to click Add to Mendeley and the reference will be added to your library. Another way to populate your library is to manually create an entry. This can be used to create entries for items that are not in PDF forms, like articles, books, and any other form that is on the screen here. You just have to press save once you have inputted the required information, and then your reference will be complete. Lastly, you can also import library entries from other software, for instance EndNote. To do this, you use the export option on the other software you're using, and then on Mendeley Desktop, you click File and Import, and then select the exported file to add the contents to your Mendeley library. So that is all I'm going to cover for the Mendeley Desktop, and now I'll move on to the Microsoft Word plugin. The Microsoft Word plugin can really speed up the process of writing your own papers. It's connected with their Mendeley library and allows you to easily cite materials that you've added to your library in Microsoft Word. It can also easily generate a bibliography of the materials you've referenced in your paper. Once you've installed the plugin and you want to make a citation, you must first position your cursor where you want to insert your citation, and then press the Insert Citation button on the toolbar under the References tab. Then, you must search for the reference you're looking for in your Mendeley library and then you press OK to insert the citation chosen. There are many different citation styles, and you can choose the one you want to use. You can also install other styles if you'd like to by clicking on the More Styles and then Get More Styles um, button. I'm just going to add a few more random citations here in the Word document so we have something to work with. So 
So on to merging citations. If two separate citations are together and you want to combine them into a single reference, you can highlight them and press the Merge Citations button on the toolbar. Then the two citations will be merged into a single and properly styled reference. To add multiple citations, instead of pressing OK after you have chosen a source in the citation editor, you can search for a second source and choose it. Then press OK to add both items as a single merged reference. So now on to creating a bibliography. Once all the citations that you need are inserted into your document, you can create a bibliography of all the materials you've cited using the Microsoft Word plugin. To do this, you just put your cursor where you want the bibliography to appear and press the Insert Bibliography button on the plugin toolbar. Mendeley will create an index of all the materials you've referenced, and this list will have the same citation style you previously chose, but it can be changed very easily. Your bibliography will also reorder and restructure itself every time you add another citation. And if you change the citation style, the bibliography will also be reformatted. So that is the end of my Mendeley tutorial covering the Mendeley desktop, the web importer, and also the Microsoft Word plugin. Thank you so much for watching.